Hello everyone, we will continue the topic O data and in the previous video, we started with O data service creation and we discussed the various steps whenever we want to create a O data service, what are the various steps and as a part of that, we finished with the first step, we created the project and what is project? It is just like a container for a single O data service. Whatever you will create for a particular O data service, it will be in one project. So project is just like a container for single O data service. Now we will move on to our next step. What is next step? We need to create the data models. So firstly, what we will do, we will go to into detailed understanding of data model and then we will do the practical part. So what I will do, I will go for SEGW transaction code. Okay, my project did not save. Okay, suppose I will create it again. I'll click on to create button. This is your SEGW transaction code. If I will go again, service gateway. Okay, my project did not save. Okay, suppose I'll create it again. I'll click on to create button. I will give some name to the project. This is the name which I provided. Suppose I will give some more meaningful name. Z sales order. Suppose service underscore PRJ. There's no need for you to create it again by my, but my, because my project did not save, that's why I'm creating again and I'm giving some more meaningful name. Project for sales order service. Or basis team took some backup, that's why it got deleted. Okay, no problem. I'm creating it again. Suppose I will save it as a local object. Now, whenever we are creating a project, it has four parts, data model, service implementation, runtime artifacts and service maintenance. This is what we did in the previous video. I just created the project again because of some mistake, it did not get saved. Yes. Now, now we will move on to next step. What is our next step? We need to create the data model. So firstly, we will go into detailed understanding what data model is, why we are creating data model. Name itself is suggesting data model tells us about the structure of the data which is exposed by the web service. It tells us about the structure of that data. I will go for simple understanding. What is our requirement? Yes, we are creating a old data service. Yes, which will simply, simply take the details of sales order from VBAK table. Yes, and it will display in the front end. Our front end is some web application or Fury or some mobile app or any other external app. Application. Now it defines the structure of the data. Now it is not the case that from VBAK table we will display all the columns. No, suppose we only want to display the 10 columns in that web application. So those 10 columns are the structure of our data. What is structure? Structure is a collection of columns. Suppose we want to display 20 columns. So those 20 columns are the structure of our data. What is structure? It is a collection of columns. So why we are creating a data model? It tells us about the structure of that data which is exposed by the web service. Suppose we want to display 20 columns. So we will go for a structure of 20 column. Suppose we are going for 40 column. So we'll create a structure of 40 column. This is the difference is the purpose of your data model. Now that data model has three parts. Now, what are those three parts? First one is entity type. Second one is entity set. 
and the third one is your association. You can see in the system also, data model has three parts. One is entity type, one is association, and one is entity set. We will understand the meaning and how we will use them. Firstly, what is entity type? Firstly, we'll understand what entity is. Entity can be anything. Those who know database management system, what is entity? It can be your person, it can be your object. So in this world, whatever is there, suppose it can be person, it can be your place, it can be your object, that is called as a entity. Now we have the term entity type, entity type. So what is the meaning of entity type? Entity type means we will define the entity and their fields and their fields. Suppose I will go for simple example. Employee is an entity. Yes, employee is an entity. And what are the fields of the employee? What are the properties of the employee? Employee ID, employee age, employee date of birth. These all are the various fields and property. So what is entity type? In entity type, we will define the entity and the respective fields into that entity. Fields can be called as properties also. Just take the example of sales order. Sales order is an entity, yes. And what are the various fields into that sales order? Creation date, creation time, yes. Sales document category. So th all those are the fields and the property. So in entity type, we will define the entity and we will define the respective fields and property related to that entity. Entity means it can be any person, it can be any object. So that is called as entity. Now you can simply understand in terms of technical language, what is entity type? Entity type is just like a table or a structure. Just simply compare it to a map. What you are doing? You are creating a table. And in that table, we have the various columns. Just simple understand. Table is a entity. Yes, we have a supposed table for employee. And we have the respective column. What is structure? We are giving some name to the structure. And in the structure, we have the respective column. So what is entity type? We will define the entity and we will define the respective fields into that entity. It is just same like a structure or table. How you are creating a table or structure? You are giving some name to the table. Suppose if I will go, we are giving some name to the table and in the table we have the various fields and the column this is the name of the table and we have the respective fields and columns now we will move on to next term after entity type we have entity set word itself is suggesting it is a collection of entity types it is a collection of entity types so whenever we will collect the entity type, whenever we will collect the entity type, it is called as entity set. And in terms of technical language, technical words, it is similar to internal table. Just simply compare. Anyways, when practical we start, you will understand. We will not go for, suppose we have a single sales order. Yes, we are going for work area. But if we want to display multiple sales order, we are going for internal table. So it is just like a entity set because what is our requirement? We will go for multiple sales order. Yes. So it is just like a entity set. And you know, whenever you want to display multiple records, how you are going, you are going for internal table. Yes. So entity set is a collection of entity type and it is just like a internal table. Anyways, whenever I will create, you will 100% understand why I'm saying it as a internal table. Now we'll come on to association. With the help of association, we will define the relationship between the entity types. 
Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose we have an entity employee. We have an entity department. So we will tell this employee belongs to this particular department. So how we will define with the help of association? Yes. So what is the data model? Data model tells us about the structure of the data which is exposed by the web service. And it is compulsory because see, this is the first basic step. Just go for simple understanding. Whenever you are creating a program, the first thing you are creating a structure, you are creating an internal table. Why we are, you are doing that? Because from the program, you got those 10, 20 fields. Same thing is here. It tells us about the structure of the data that these many columns will be exposed by the web service, will be displayed in the front end. The data model has three parts. What is first part? Entity type, entity set, and the association. What is entity type? Entity means it can be any person, it can be any object. So with the help of entity type, we will define the entity and the respective fields into that entity. Fields mean properties. Suppose employee is an entity and the respective fields are employee ID, employee age, employee date of birth. It is just like a table or structure because what is structure? It's a collection of column. What is table? It is a collection of column. Yes. Now after that, we have entity set whenever we will combine it's a collection of entity types it is just like an internal table i took the example we will display the multiple sales order it means we need to go for internal table and here it is called as entity set yes now we will go for simple association what is association it defines the relationship between the different entity type. Just now we took the example. Suppose we have employee and department. This employee belongs to this particular department. Employee is an entity. Department is an entity. So how we will define the relationship with the help of association. Now in the next video, We'll simply, simply create a data model. We will learn what are the various steps to create a data model. And after that, we will simply, simply generate the runtime artifacts at that time. Data model class, yes, model provider class, data provider class, all those things will come into the picture. So that's it in this video. Thank you.